What is up guys? We just got the crossbow sighted in and I figured I'd make another video showing you guys how to quieten this crossbow down or pretty much any kind of crossbow, okay? If it's split limbs. But for these split limbs, I couldn't find any crossbow limb dampeners that were pretty affordable. So I picked these up. These are just a crab style uh, bow dampening limb dampener. And it, it's, sell, it's sold on Amazon by Rainforest Delta. And what it is, it's just a little dampener that you slide in between those limbs. But I had to get a little crafty with these, okay? And I'm gonna show you what you have to do to be able to fit them to whatever bow you have. Okay, you're gonna have to break out a utility knife or some kind of knife, even a razor blade, that way you can get in there and cut that material out. That way it fits your bow limbs. Guys, if you like these videos, go ahead and hit that like button. Hit the subscribe button if you're not a member of the channel already. Turn on that notification bell and let's get going with this video. All right, see that right there? There is no dampener right here. So when those limbs go forward, there's a lot of vibration. There's a lot of noise that is put off by those limbs and this whole system. So the string has string dampeners up here so that's nice that cuts down on a lot of the vibration and the noise but right here we can prevent more noise if we go ahead and put some of these limb dampeners on and i went with the green accents too because i shoot green fletched arrows so i think it looks pretty nice and kind of gives it a, a better look in my opinion but as you can tell look at the distance between the limbs here that material in between right there used to be a lot greater. It was probably about a quarter of an inch on each side here more. So I had to take off that much material. And also th these are made for a compound bow, not a crossbow. So the material right here on each side of these little wings also had to be taken down just a little bit to be able to fit these thick limbs here. You can see how thick these limbs are. You gotta get those sized up just right to be able to have them slide down in there. Okay, so what you do is pretty much just take your utility knife and cut down here, here, and then getting this part out of the middle here, you legit have to pretty much bend these over. And these are silicone, so you're not really gonna rip them. And then that way you can get down in there and cut that across right here okay and you're gonna have to work at it a little bit you're gonna have to work that away on both sides to get that and it's not gonna look perfect I think this one looks pretty decent but it's not gonna be perfect so it's gonna take some time but this will save you a lot of money I would say at least 20 bucks and I couldn't find any that looked as good as these as far as color goes so matching that color scheme this is what I had to go with and I think they perform very, very well. And I'm gonna show you that right now. Okay, so to install these, after you get them cut to size, you're literally gonna to have to work these on very easily. So you get it where you want it. And I'm gonna put mine kinda dead center here. And you're just gonna to have to kinda of work these in. Actually, you might have to go in this way. And just work those little fins around and it can be a kind of a pain. Once you get that first one, you just kind of wedge it by. You're gonna make some grunt noise. <laughs> All right, so we got two by. Got this third one, there we go. And the fourth one kind of just went, there we go. So that's how you get it put in. It's a very snug fit. See right there this one kind of just flares out just a little bit but the dampening part is the part in the middle here i think it really does a good job wedging in there and it dampens the noise a lot all right so once you have both limb dampeners installed on your bow then you're good to go but i'm going to show you a test of what it's like without the limb dampeners and definitely pay attention to the noise here. We're gonna be listening for the loud crack 
and we're gonna see the comparison between the two once we actually have the limb dampeners in here. So we're gonna take a practice shot here. Definitely listen to these limbs. All right, there was a pretty loud crack. All right, we're gonna try it with the limb dampeners in and see if we see a difference. Okay, we got both limb dampeners installed. We're gonna give this a shot. Definitely listen for the difference. All right, I think it was substantially quieter, but we'll do a slow-mo on both of those shots and we'll kind of slow it down and listen to the noise on that end. All right guys, I hope you like this video on how to silence your crossbow just a little bit by adding some limb dampeners. And hopefully you like those shots that we took and could tell a noticeable difference between shooting it with just the bare limbs and actually putting these limb dampeners in. So I think there's a bit of a difference, especially hearing it in first person. Um, maybe the audio couldn't pick it up as much, but there is a noticeable difference. Just uh, take it from me or don't, but there is a noticeable difference. And guys, if you like these videos, go ahead and leave me a like, hit that subscribe button if you're not a member of the channel, hit that notification bell. And guys, thanks again, and I will leave the product link in the description box below and guys keep it blue collar.